I guess looking back at 2018, um, it was a busy, busy year. I think this has been a great year for our photo staff because we have a great diversity of ages and experience and uh, we all learn from each other. My favorite photos from my time at the Gazette are really hard to narrow down because I've photographed a lot of amazing things and met a lot of amazing people. I looked through all my photos for 2018 and the one that stuck out finally looking through all of them was two uh, military individuals that were on Team Army that were embracing. I knew that there was going to be a lot more of a celebration with the gold medal match so I just waited there patiently and when it finished everyone cleared off the floor and it was just left these two guys that were embracing and it was just a clean back then with two just a really silent quiet moment. I mean, there's a lot of images that come to mind that were some of my favorites. But I would say probably my favorite um, one that stood out the most that was different, the Pikes Peak Hill climb practice. And the sun kind of rose above the clouds and um, made a really nice image. I've always wanted to go down and shoot the uh, sandhill cranes as they fly through my, on their migration. The lights started getting beautiful and they started uh, flying in from every direction and it was just such a cool feeling because I'm a, a bird nerd. I really appreciated seeing these massive birds with the snow-capped peaks in the background. So I've had a lot of favorite moments while I've been working for the Gazette. Um, most recently on Christmas Day I was photographing um, some kids bouncing on a trampoline and uh, after I left, after I got the pictures that I wanted, um, one of their relatives pulled up and they ran screaming to the car, Kiki, Kiki, we're gonna be in the newspaper. And they were so excited. And um, I think that was one of my favorite moments. Not that it was unique, because I think it happens a lot where people get really excited to be in the newspaper, um, but they had just opened new presents, their bikes, they're playing outside with their new toys. And what they wanted to share with their family was that they were gonna be in the newspaper the next day. My favorite moment looking back on this year was I've been working on a story for the last almost 10 months on this kid who's been battling stage four kidney cancer. He had his final chemotherapy, which I was able to be part of up in the Denver area. And when he was up there, um, his final chemo, he got to ring the bell. But before he got to ring the bell, they made a tunnel and he got to run, he got to run through the tunnel of all these hands, of all these people celebrating his accomplishments. So his family was there, his friends were there. And it was just this little body of 44 pounds and this little four-year-old kid with a bald head with a bunch of hands and his mom in the background. And it was just this powerful, visceral moment of like, wow, he accomplished so much. I think that what I enjoy the most is I'm just kind of addicted to telling people about cool stuff or important stuff that are happening in the community or even in the larger picture. I just never get tired of that. Working for a community paper like the Gazette is a collaboration between us and our community and people let us into their lives, let us tell their stories, let us go into their homes and take pictures of them and they feel proud to be represented by us and they let us have the biggest gift which is telling their stories. You know we cry with everyone, we celebrate with everyone, um, that's just part of the job. But, um, you know, I think, I think the Gazette staff did a really good job and I look forward to another year of uh, capturing moments.